Welcome, old friends and new, to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. January 19th and today's Daily Inspiration comes to us from James Whitcomb Riley, American writer, poet, and best-selling author. During his life, he was known as a Hoosier poet and children's poet for his work and for his children's poetry. He lived from 1849 to 1916 and shared the inspirational words found in this poem. He is not dead. It reads, I cannot say and I will not say that he is dead. He is just away. With a cheery smile and a wave of the hand, he has wandered into an unknown land and left us dreaming how very fair it needs must be since he lingers there. And you, oh you, who the wildest yearn for an old time step and the glad return, think of him faring on as dear in the love of there as the love of here. Think of him still as the same. I say he is not dead. He is just away. Now Riley comes out here and expresses what most of us want to believe more than anything else. Our lost loved one is not dead. He or she may not still be here, but they are not dead. He writes with a cheery smile and a wave of a hand. For so many of us, it seems so hard to imagine a cheery smile from our lost loved one when they passed. A wave of a hand? We think only of that last moment they lived. So many of those events for us were not that which would have caused cheer. But I believe Riley writes the moment they leave the human body and return to spirit, free of the earthly world. If we conceive these thoughts, then as our poet writes, we understand in our dreams why our loved one remains so easily on the other side. They are just as much at home there on the other side as here, although we yearn deeply for them to be here with us, here. Regardless, I take comfort in believing, knowing he, my son Jonathan, is not dead. He is merely away, and once he stepped to the other side, he turned, smiled, and waved his hand to me. Can you find comfort in Riley's thoughts as well? Or do you have a different take than I do? Please let me know. So that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we shared together in the comments section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers and maybe, maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am R. Glenn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose.